Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a quick way to get some grooming items out of the way first thing in the morning. I have five dogs and this is Charlie. Charlie is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. He's a tricolor. He thinks he's the head of the household. <laughs> but he's gonna be my first up today. And I wanna show you just a couple things you can do first thing in the morning to get grooming out of the way. And for these dogs especially, they have terrible teeth. It's just a genetic thing with them. I have three Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. All three of them came to me with terrible teeth. I rescued all three of them. And the vets just tell me that that is part of the breed. So I'm gonna show you what I do to help their teeth. Certainly they are still getting cleanings because they're of the genetic nature of it, but anything we can do to help our dogs is amazing. I do two things in the morning. The first thing I do is I clean their eyes. I do this naturally. I don't use any type of eye wipes. I do have eye wipes, but I use them if I need to travel with the dogs, take them quickly with me, just so that I can get things done quickly. But this is my normal routine. So I use a product called BioTrue. It is just an all natural, multi-purpose eye solution. I feel very good about this. This also helps with the weepy eye brownness that they can get on their eyes from their eye goobies. <laughs> and then I just use some cotton rounds with that. And then each of my dogs have their own toothbrush. A couple things I do with the teeth. First is after meals, I like to use Dr. Judy's dental health formula. This is just something that you put along their gum line. It's just on a dropper. I'll show you. And this is an enzyme. It says two to five drops to the upper gums once daily. So I do this usually after dinner because that's when they're kind of keep their mouth closed for the most part. So this is the dropper. And as you can see, it's a very liquidy formula. Just drop that just on the upper part of their gums and that just helps them after they eat as well. My normal morning routine includes an enzymatic toothpaste and a toothbrush which is really goes on my finger. So let me show you how this works and I have two dogs behind me there sleeping. I've got a dog here and a dog upstairs. So <laughs> Hazel, my chocolate lab, as you know, she's not in a lot of videos because she likes to be kind of on her own. I'm going to show you how I do this on two dogs. I'm gonna show you the whole process with Charlie and then I'm gonna do a fast forward through Molly and then Bree, I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to get started if you're new to teeth brushing and eye wiping and all of that stuff. Stick with me on this. He is a good model for me because I know he won't move. He, we've had him the longest. His owner actually passed away or he had a fairly easy life compared to my other Cavaliers who came from not so nice puppy mills. Charlie actually came from a nice breeder, but he passed away and they had to quickly get rid of the grandparents, the parents, the little guys. And so he came to us and they told us he was a little crazy and he is a little crazy. All right, so I'm gonna just use my BioTrue eye solution and I'm gonna put some of it on a cotton round. I am gonna move the camera so you can watch what I'm doing with Charlie's eyes and with his mouth. So let us let me turn that camera around. So I think that I have the camera where it's on Charlie pretty well. And I just take out one or two of these cotton rounds. It just depends on how dirty their eyes are, but I do this pretty much every day. I occasionally miss. If I miss, I, I notice because especially Brie, she's got the worst eyes. She'll start like rubbing on them or rubbing her face on any sort of rug or blanket. I know that I forgot to do their eyes, but this is usually a normal routine for me. So I just, I just soaked this round and then <laughs> he knows what's coming. He doesn't love it, but he, he doesn't mind it either. And then I just make sure I go underneath his eye. So I'm not going to go in his eye. I'm just going to wipe up underneath where that natural here would go. And you can see his eyes are pretty clean. I do that middle section before the, it gets too dirty because whatever is in the saline solution actually will clean up that center of their eye. And then Charlie always has a problem with this second eye. So I do that second. Again, I'm just using my finger and I'm pushing along. 
I don't want to put this in his eye. Not that it would hurt his eye. It's all natural. But I do want to make sure I don't scratch his eye or get any unnecessary stuff in his eye. So that's really all it is. And then I will do a second one if I think he needs it. But that is as simple as that is. So if you can do that every day, then it's just a really quick thing. <laughs> he just clicked me, which I believe that that means thank you very much and keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going with Charlie. So as I mentioned, they all have their toothbrush holders and I label them, right? Because even though I stick these in the dishwasher, I do think everybody should have their own toothbrush, right? <laughs> Anybody else do that? I did want to tell you the difference between these two. So this is a doggy toothbrush and I have trouble with this because I can't feel where this is actually going in the dog's mouth. And they don't like it as much either because the hard plastic is kind of hitting spots in their teeth. When you brush your own teeth with a toothbrush, you can feel where you're hitting, right? That would be why we use a toothbrush. But this goes on the tip of my finger, and I actually put it on my middle finger, just because then I could kind of use the rest of my fingers to maneuver around in their mouth. And so this has... It's a silicone thing and it's got like little nubs all over it. And this allows me to feel each tooth and I can go around the tooth and it's just a little bit easier. And they don't mind this as much as they mind this. They don't love having this plastic thing put in their mouth. Now I just use any enzymatic toothpaste that I feel has good ingredients and this one seems good. I think the enzymes are important. All I do with this is I then put a, a little bit around my finger thing. Now, probably unnecessary, but I also rub it in. So it's put this in his mouth. It's going to go around and get the toothpaste all around. I start by just opening his mouth and I look at these teeth and then I rub this along the outside of the teeth just to get them started, right? We don't want anything to be difficult for them. I am not putting a lot of pressure on his face. I'm just kind of holding it and he likes the taste of this. They have teeth in the front, so I rub against the front too and the bottom as well. Charlie has had 20 of his teeth removed, so he doesn't, he has about 20 some left. I think there's 42 maybe. Then I go and I put my finger in between underneath those little eye teeth are, maybe they're called, and I make sure I get her all the way around them. Then I do the same to the top, and it's harder for you to see that, but I'm doing that to the top as well. And then I go towards the back and then I just ease this along, making sure I don't get too much of his gums in there. And then he naturally will sort of chew on this. And I just keep kind of brushing and letting him open a little bit and letting me brush this. I do the same thing with the other side. Thank you, Charlie. And I just make sure that I feel that I'm not getting that gum caught in there. I don't want to be rubbing that gum against his teeth. And then I just do this for a couple minutes, just making sure I get everything. Again, he's missing a lot of teeth, but I can feel them all. And so I think it's just really important. And then with the enzymatic toothpaste, you really don't want to be giving them any treats or anything after this, even a lot of water after this. So they are a big fan of ice cubes. That would be one of Charlie's favorite treats, but I don't want to give him ice cubes either because I want this enzymatic toothpaste just to kind of sit on their teeth for a while, let it sit there and do its thing. So then I throw these into the dishwasher. They come off super easy and I throw it into the dishwasher and then that way I know it's super clean. You can also stick it in some super hot water with some mild soap. Just make sure you get all the soap off. Charlie doesn't mind it at all. He's gonna lick his chops for a little bit longer and then he's gonna get to go down. And then the other two sleepy heads over there are going to be next. So let me show you my sleepy heads. Who do you think should be next? Sleepy head number one. Hi, Bribri. Do you wanna have your eyes done and your teeth done next? Or maybe Miss Molly. What do you think? These are the girls. They all love to snuggle up next to each other. This is their all-time favorite blanket. I do keep couch covers on our couches because of the five dogs. <laughs> and there they are. One of them will be next, probably Molly. She looks a little bit more awake than Bree does. And no one wants to be woken up by brushing teeth and cleaning eyes. So I think Molly will be next. What do you think, Molly? Yes, okay, you'll be next. Is 
This is my nervous Nellie Bree. She's our newest rescue. And she's just nervous about everything. She's got the worst eyes. So just if you do this every day, they get used to it. And maybe for the first time, you just wipe it one time and walk away and leave it alone. And then next time you come back, and you do a little bit more. You know, this doesn't have to be a hard process for them. This should be a process that is helpful for them, but they don't know. He's got a right eye that's really bad. Charlie has a right eye that's really bad. And I know that this bothers her when her eyes are bad. So this is a good thing to do on a daily basis. And that way I notice she isn't rubbing against things with her eyes as much because hers get kind of crusty and I think that that's got to feel not so nice. It's not just a aesthetics thing for sure. I, I don't care if they've got weepy looking eyes, I but I think it doesn't feel good to them. Keep that in mind. Go slow with this. She actually doesn't mind it once I get going. She also doesn't love her teeth to get done, but she'll do it. Yes, she will, because she's a good girl. She also has had a dental done before I got her. She is missing quite a few teeth. I think she had 22 removed, so has 20 or so left. Molly's the one that only has four teeth left. I still brush those four teeth, and I brush her gums, because I think all of that is related, and so she knows what this is. And they actually don't mind the taste. This is not such a bad thing for them. They act like it's a bad thing. And she's, of course, going to push her face the other way so you can't see what's going on. If I could get her to push her face back this way. There we go. There we go. They want to see this. So with everything you do with your dogs, do it consistently and do it slow. Like the first time, just let them lick this thing. The second time, put it against the top teeth and see how they do or do it like this. They don't mind when I do this part where I'm just rubbing it against their teeth. They don't love it. This part is always a little bit disturbing for them when I do those top and bottom teeth because they're so teeny tiny. And then I go in the back and then she doesn't really chew on it as much. She'll hold it there, but she won't really chew it like Charlie chews it. So I just kind of move my finger around, make sure I'm getting them. And then I usually would go to the other side, but I want them to be in front of the camera. And then again, I'm going to look at my toothbrush under her teeth, let her chew a little bit. We'll go back and forth and that's it. She doesn't have a ton of teeth in there either. You did a good job, high five. <laughs> All right, that's it for Brie Brie. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this content. And of course, share this with your friends if they have dogs as well. Next, Charlie needs his nails drum. I use Dremel brand Dremel and if you'd like to see the video about where I show how to do this check out this link above. So thanks for joining today. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other tips or tricks that you would like to see how I get them done with the dogs let me know. I've got five dogs willing to help me show you whatever you need to see. Thanks for joining today. Mm -hmm.